a child of God. Please relax. I know that God is working something out. Yes, sometimes it may take a long time, but your appointment will definitely come. Every one of us, every single individual on the face of the earth has an appointed time with God. And when your time comes, dear child of God, you will not miss it. You will not miss your day of favor. He says, yes, on that day, on that day, I would remember you. That day that Rachel was supposed to be remembered came. Dear child of God, she had been praying. She had been waiting on God. She almost gave up at a particular point in time. But you see, when that time came that she was to be remembered, the scriptures recorded that God remembered her and opened her womb, dear child of God. God shined his face towards that direction. Dear child of God, I want you to know today that God will bring forth his blessings. Everything that you so seek, the things that you have been desiring, God will bring them to you. He says, I will make it happen. He says, I would accomplish it. In the time, in the time of your faith, he said, I would do it. In the time of your remembrance, he's saying to you, I will show up. Sometimes you have become tired. Yes, it is true. Sometimes you have become weary. Yes, it is true. Sometimes you are fainting. Yes, it is true. But I want to assure you, God has not forsaken you. He said, I will in no wise despise you. He said, he will not cast you out. Dear child of God, he said he will not leave you without a witness. So you will know every day that God is working something out. Just be encouraged, dear child of God. You see, I don't know the reason why Abraham needed to wait for 25 years before the promise came, before there was a sign of the promise of God. But you see, God knows why. And this is the reason we need to keep going to God, despite the fact that we are not seeing things working the way we want them. What if what God is doing for you is more than the things you have been expecting to receive from Him? Dear child of God, I've come to realize that the one who is dead cannot wait for a promise to come. It is the one who is alive. What if God has shown you mercy? Maybe you could have been destroyed for a long time. So you were praying for other things to come. But God was concerned about preserving you. And that was why he did not allow the evil ones to carry out their attacks against you. Yes, afflictions came, situations came. And God preserved you. The same things that destroyed other people could not destroy you because God preserved you. And it was keeping you there so that you can receive your blessing. It was keeping you alive so that he can bring his promises to pass. Dear child of God, God cannot be wrong. God can never miss it. God can never make mistakes. So when he says that when the time is right, I would accomplish it. I would hasten my word to come to pass. Dear child of God, believe it. He said, yes, you may be small today, but you become a thousand. You become the greatest. He says, you may look insignificant right now, but by the time his blessings come upon your life, dear child of God, You'll be the voice. You'll be the voice. You'll be the best thing happening around town. So believe God and trust the process. Trust the process. Yes, it was not beautiful for Joseph to wait all the times he waited. But when everything happened, when the time came for his showing forth to be manifested, dear child of God, he did not remember the pains anymore. He did not remember the days of struggles. You see, the days of his sorrows became insignificant because the blessings came and overshadowed everything that he had gone through. Dear child of God, that was why he said, for your shame, I will give you double for the reproach. I will come and do it amazingly for you. Trust God. Believe him. Trust all he said he would do. And I want to assure you without fail, he will come through for you. He will come through for you without fail, dear child of God. It will give you reasons to rejoice. It would give you your own testimonies. So when you don't see anything happening, please trust him. For he said, I will come. I would accomplish it. I will do it quickly. I will give you reasons to rejoice. Since I am Jehovah, and I would hasten my word to come in its time, dear child of God. Take note of what he said. He said, in its time. So when your time comes, God will show up. You cannot miss that appointment. Sometimes you have been praying and it seems like you've gotten no response from God. 
But you see, the Lord wants you to know today that He will make it happen. All of the things that you are thinking of, the requests that you have made, the petitions you have, yes, the requests that you have been crying night and day that He should do. The Lord is saying, when the time is right, He says, I, the Lord, will make it happen. He would make you great, dear child of God. He said, a smallest family, the smallest of all families, shall become a thousand people. That is, he said, the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. God is speaking about you. He's saying, though you may be small today, but it will bring such amazing greatness out of your life. Have you been found at that spot in life that you are saying, God, when will you do it? You have looked around you and everyone is simply making progress but you. You have been asking the Lord, when will you change my story? Dear child of God, sometimes you are thinking if you have done something wrong to God. The Lord is saying to you, though it looks like nothing is working around your life, but according to his word in Acts 2 verse 39, was saying to you very clear that you will be blessed and it will be beyond you. It would extend to your children. He says it would extend also to their children, even those are far off. Even your relations in distant land would also get these blessings of God. They would not be excluded from the blessings that the Lord had promised to bring around your life. Dear child of God, you may have been stopped. You may be in one position right now. You may not be moving forward and you think God is not concerned about you. He's saying at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. He's saying, I am the Lord. I would hasten my word to do it. But he's saying it would happen at the time appointed. You must realize today, dear child of God, that everyone has an appointment with God. And that time will come that you will receive your blessings without fail. You see, Job had this understanding. And that was why he said, I would wait till my change comes. He was saying, I would wait till my time appointed has come. He was going through some situations, dear child of God. You see, Job was faced with great hardship at the time. His wife even told him to curse God and die because it seems like there is no change within. But he knew that he needed to wait on God for his appointed time to come. Dear child of God, it says in the time of favor, he will hear you. In the time of favor, he would attend to you. Don't give up, dear child of God. Even when the situation seems like nothing is happening around you, God is working something out. He said in his word that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. Dear child of God, you have been called of God. And he had declared a blessing to you, dear child of God. You have been blessed and no one can deny you that blessing. No one can stop you from getting to the place of your upliftment. But you need to trust the process. Dear child of God, you need to trust God. Sometimes we may not be able to have answers to all of the questions you have been asking. Then why do I have to wait? He's saying to you, be still and know that I am God. He said, wait on me. That was why the scriptures in Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, Those that wait upon the Lord, he said they will renew their strength. He said they would mount up with wings as eagles. He says they will run and not be weary, dear child of God. I know that you have become weary. I know you have fainted. I know you have become tired. But he says you should renew within your inner man the words that he sends to you every day. Dear child of God, I want you to know and realize today that God has everything in place for you. He has everything working out for you. God cannot be wrong, dear child of God. He doesn't make mistakes. Dear child of God, God is always on time. God knows what to do and when to do them. We cannot twist the hands of God, dear child of God. We cannot force him to move when it is not time for him to move. That was why he said to you, at the right time, take note of the word of God, Isaiah 60 verse 22. He said, when the time is right, I, the Lord, 
will make it happen. I, the Lord, will do it. He says, have I not commanded it? Have I not said it? I will do it. He said he would do it. Nothing is hard for him to do, dear child of God. He said it and he would do it. He was the one that made the promise. He was the one that said he's going to come to your rescue. He said he's going to provide for you. He said you will become so great. He said your blessing would expand generations, dear child of God. He says those who are far off would also see of this. He was speaking about transgenerational blessing. But you are saying, what does it matter if nothing is happening to me right now? If nothing is happening within and around my vicinity? Job's life changed. Yes, when his time appointed came, everything was restored. Dear child of God, and the scriptures recorded that God blessed the latter life of Job more than how it was before. And amazingly, God also gave him life to enjoy the blessings that he gave to him. Dear child of God, the Lord will keep you safe. He will preserve you. He will not allow anything the enemies are doing to succeed over you. He will be there because you trust him. Because you give him, because you have given him your very best, he would not disappoint you. He wants you to know today that he will not allow them to rip up your flesh. He will not allow them to consume you. But rather, he will give you victories. Dear child of God, he will give you victories over the enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, David went to God praying and asking God to save him, to preserve him, lest the enemies consume him, lest the enemies eat up his flesh. Dear child of God, they would not be able to eat up your flesh. They would not be able to consume you. They would not be able to subdue you because the Lord will be fighting for you. The mighty act of God will be seen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will reward you with his blessing and all that you need to triumph, he will give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. David was praying to God. He was asking God to give him strength. He was asking God to give him might because he said, Yahweh is his strength. Yahweh is his rock. Yahweh is his might. And Yahweh did not disappoint him. You will not be disappointed, dear child of God. You will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make sure that he would enlarge your steps. He would make sure that he will keep your feet steady in the mighty name of Jesus. David said, Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not sleep. Dear child of God, your feet will not sleep. Dear child of God, you will not fall before the enemies. You will not fall before them because God will not allow them to succeed over you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I ran after my enemies. I caught them and I did not turn back until I had killed them. Psalms 18 verse 37. When God saved him, when God preserved him, God gave him the strength. God gave him the strength to charge against the enemy. And then he said he pursued them and he overtook them. Dear child of God, he would pursue and he would overtake. You would triumph over them. It doesn't matter how great the challenges are, the forces that are fighting you. It doesn't matter how great the forces that are standing against you are. You must know today that you will triumph over them. You will be victorious over them. Dear child of God, God is with you and is for you. He's fighting for you. And then he wants to remind you today that if he is for you, no one can ever succeed being against you. You need to trust the Lord today because he's ready to fight your battles. He's ready to go all out for you and give you victory because he loves you. He said that you are more than a conqueror because he loves you. He said you are a winner because he loves you. You are an overcomer. You are going to see his mighty act and his mighty hand trust him because he will not allow the enemies to succeed over you the word of god in psalm 7 verse 1 says lord my god i am hiding in you keep me safe from all those people that are trying to catch me make me safe dear child of god this was the prayer that david prayed and god kept him safe god made sure that the enemies could not succeed over him god was his refuge and kept him safe he said i struck them down so they are not able to rise up they fell under my feet dear child of god god will make you triumphant he will give you victories he will give you victories over the enemies those who had planned to take 
life away from you to take everything that you have been working for those who have been planning to see that you were in pains all the days of your life god will give you strength he will give you all the might that you need today you will chase over them you will chase them you will chase each and every one of them and you will catch them dear child of god except they repent except they turn to god they are all going down for your sake he said he rebuked the devourers for your sake Dear child of God, everyone that had planned to devour you, the Lord is rebuking them today and he will fight against them. He fought against the enemies of God's people. He took off their chariot wheels. He made sure that none of them succeeded. They would not succeed. They would all be put to shame. Every single one of them that vowed to eat up your flesh. Every single one of them that vowed to consume you, that had vowed to destroy you, God will stand with you, he will fight for you, and he will make sure they are all brought down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, he will pursue them and you will recover everything that the enemies have stolen from you. All that was taken from you, you will get back in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord had made you victorious. Because the Lord is making you more than a conqueror. He said, I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. He says, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. Each and every one of them that had vowed to destroy you. Dear child of God, each and every one of them that vowed to knock you down. Each and every one of them that had planned to strike you, dear child of God. Every one of them would be wounded. They would be stricken and they will go down before you in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, you made me strong for fighting. You made my enemies to bend in front of me. David was speaking. He said, God made him strong. God will make you strong today. Yes, they wanted to break you, but refuse to be broken, dear child of God. They want you to be at their mercy, but refuse that, dear child of God. They want you to come begging before them. But refuse that, dear child of God, because God is clothing you with strength and He will give you the abilities to stand. You will stand anything they are bringing against you and you will succeed. Always remember that you are more than a conqueror. You are more than a winner. You are triumphant because He loves you. You will triumph over them. You will ride over each and every one of them. So trust in God today who is harming you with strength, who is giving you the abilities and the might to withstand all that the enemies are throwing at you. Trust him today because he's going to guide you with strength and will give you victories over all the battles they had brought in front of you. He says, Thou hast subdued under me those that rose against me. He says, Those that rose against me. You subdued under me, dear child of God. It doesn't matter their number. As long as they are rising over you, as long as they are fighting against you, as long as they have made you their enemies, what they do not know is that they are creating their own graves. And every one of them, except they repent, except they turn to God, God will fight against each and every one of them. And you would come out victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He would make sure that the next time they see you, they would not dare you ever again. They would say, like the Egyptians said of the Israelites, the Lord is fighting for them. The enemies against your life will say, God is with him, God is with her, and God is fighting for her. It says, by you, their backs are turned in flight, so that my haters are cut off. It says, you gave their necks to me, I destroyed my enemies. He said, you have made my enemies turn their back to me and I will destroy those who hate me. Every single one that had mocked you, that had fought against you. Every single one that had said they would be your enemies. Those that said over their dead bodies, would you succeed? Would you leave? Would you make it in life? Dear child of God, God will make sure that every single one of them will turn back before you every single one of them will be brought down before your face in the mighty name of jesus christ they will cry for help and no one will hear them because god will stand against each and every one of them he said he is for you 
He is for you and everyone that decide to be against you, he would fight against, he would stand against, they will make them his enemies and none of them would be able to stand anymore. So trust in God, trust the one who will bring deliverance to you. Trust the one who has saved you. Trust the one who has preserved you and you will see him see you through all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will be cut down before you. They will be cut down into pieces before you. And every single one of them that vowed that you will not succeed in life, they will see you rise. Dear child of God, they will see you rise above each and every one of them. And they will know for certain that God is with you, that God is for you, and that God is fighting your battle. He says, I go after my haters and overtake them. In Psalms 18 verse 37. He says, not turning back. Till they are all overcome. Dear child of God, you will run after your enemies, you will catch them, and none of them will be able to turn back from you until they are brought down in the mighty name of Jesus. You would pursue, you would overtake them in the mighty name of Jesus. And all that may have been taken from you, dear child of God, you would recover all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It doesn't matter how great the forces against you are. It doesn't matter the numbers of the people fighting against you. No one thing for sure, dear child of God. You will be triumphant over them. You will be victorious over them. And you would sing your songs of victories. You will sing your songs of deliverance. Because God gave you victory and did you well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go forth because you will sing songs of praise and celebration. Go forth because you will testify. It is your season of unending victories. It is your season of an ending testimony. It is your it is your season of victory. And you will not be put to shame in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.